they, you always hit this point where it's a little bit nerve wracking, like, what if I can't get this back together the way I think I can? Nothing like destroying important parts of your bow. I mean, look at this. This is not working. <laughs> this is not working for me. Look at my interior here. This is so much better. So much better. I'm so excited. Let's change our story. Let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. We knew this was gonna be a problem when we bought the boat. The problem has quickly come to the front of priorities. This is our DC board here, and all of these are like breakers and switches. It's like a pop breaker. It'll pop off when the circuit is overloaded, and they are failing. This one was labeled dead when we bought it. We've taken off some of these. We've moved wires around at least five of them that are dead, and we've tried and tried to find replacements, and there just aren't any. There is nothing to be found. The boat was built in 1996. It's a French-made boat. It's gonna be a shame to lose all of these really cool graphics and decals and everything. This is a problem, and let me just show you why. It's not just a few switches and things. We've got several here that are just absolutely disconnected. I've got this wire that I don't even know what it is. It's just flopping around in here. Um, all kinds of stuff. And this is after I've done a decent amount of work to try to clean things up here. We've got this one here is not connected and this one here is not connected. None of this stuff up here works the way it's supposed to work. It's all supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, volts. Well, I know that's not right. I, I have about 13.8 volts of our house bank. So I don't have a clue what that's measuring. And then over here we have amps that does nothing. The amps do nothing. I'm still working on our owner's version conversion. Guys, I'm super excited for this shower. You don't even know. It's looking great. Um, it's hard, I know it's hard to see, but everything's fiberglassed in. Heat indexes of around 100 to 110, depending on the day. And that's been a real big problem for us. So this is something that I can do during the day. I've got air conditioning and I'm in a little bit controlled. I don't need to open windows. I'm not gonna kick up a lot of dust. So I'm gonna try to work on this. I'm hoping that I can get this done as a one day project. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. So what I need to do here is go through and label these wires um, one by one. Our new board is going to use ring terminals. Cut off these spades and, and crimp on rings. got this pretty well tore down with the exception of the wires that we use all the time like the refrigerator the fresh water pump I'm going to bypass those I'm going to take them off of this board and I'm gonna put them on this guy here so we can keep using them and they'll be fused but they will be hot all the time but that's okay because they're hot all the time now because we have the switches turned on oh well, look at that it's no wonder this thing just kind of fell apart. These contacts are just so old. Okay, well I got two hot lines there. Something else that's really interesting about this is none of these wires are tinned copper. None of them. And that's funny because this boat is was built in 1996 and you would think that if corrosion was going to be a problem it would have settled in here somewhere but it hasn't. There's no corrosion anywhere. So we are not replacing these wires. I don't know if these are some other kind of copper alloy or, or what the story is, but um, they are fine. So we are leaving them. Nothing like destroying important parts of your boat. At this point, I think I need to start getting out, removing as much as I know I can remove because this is just going to be a nightmare if I don't, I, like, I can't, I can't get, like, anywhere in here. There's just so much, so much garbage stuff. I have, uh, most of this is in service, but a lot of it, a lot of it is not in service. It's old and a lot of it is very janky looking like this nice wire tie job here all right so this 
This is wire that I ran in anticipation. I'm gonna tuck it up here out of the way. Easy peasy. This wire, I stowed up here because I figured this is where I was gonna need it, and it's in my way, so let's get it out of the way. Okay, okay, already starting to look better. It's hilarious how much stuff I've got just, just in here that I have no idea what it is. Like this, this wire here, it's just dangling. What is it? What was it? No idea. Okay guys, I was trying to take a break and be done for the night, but I just couldn't. I'm trying to sort out these wires and something very interesting. Is this just kind of like a moment? Nothing was making sense. So here's what I was trying to sort out. I've got these two wires here. They're really hard to see. This is one. You can kind of see it's this like blue gray color. And then right next to it is another one. So I've got this one here and then this one here. So I've got two of these. They come down and then they come into this blue wire and the brown wire. So I chase them down here, right? So I find this one and a blue wire and a brown wire. So I've got brown going up to what I think is a negative terminal because it is labeled negative terminal from previous owner. This is really janky. I don't like this and it's gonna go away. And then I come and I try to find the other one, right? So now I know, I know that the brown is gonna be negative and this one here, I'm like, wait a second, why is, why is this one going into the negative? And, and then I come to look here and they've got this brown. Can you see it? I'm gonna pull it out, look here. This brown, has a link that then turns into a red. All of these labels that we have here are in French. So um, we're doing French to English, trying to sort out what's what. So I've lo I figured out that these are for the bilge pumps, which is really important because I have to install new bilge pumps. But what they've done is one side, on the port side, I think brown is positive, and on the starboard side, the blue is positive. Whoever ran these wires just kind of decided without any, without any reason, I'm going to make brown positive on one side and then brown negative on the other side. Yep. It's no wonder we have all kinds of weirdo issues that don't make any sense, but little by little we're going to get this cleaned up. So I've got some scrap pieces of my cherry that I used on our kitchen and uh, in the bedrooms, and I'm going to use this as best I can to see if I can't make a new frame. Go around that fiberglass shell there. This is the frame. It glued up real nice and I went ahead and sanded it and I'm just now getting ready to put some stain on it. It fits in there perfect. I glued it in place and then I let that opening act as a clamp. So that worked well. So let's go ahead and throw some stain on here. So by now you're probably wondering what are we going to replace this board with and uh, we've already said that rebuilding it is not really an option but here is the replacement. This is going to serve us well for as long as we own the boat and many many years to come so I'm excited to get it in there. The last one is just at the end of its life and can't be trusted. If you have something on board that's electrical and you feel like it's not reliable, to me that means it's a fire hazard. So it was time to take it out of service. We're going to get this one in. I don't know how we passed an inspection because our inspector did not like when he saw reds and blacks close together where they could be shorted out. Like right now, when I'm coming in here with a wrench, I could bridge that gap and I could short those out. Um, so I know that that was something that our boat inspection was sensitive of, but they didn't catch this. And so we've kind of skated by without an issue, um, but I'm gonna change it. I've got this blue C bar here, which I think is going to take the place really nicely of what we have um, from from the French and um, I'm just gonna really quickly undo this and see if we can't get this installed because right now all of our DC systems are offline which is our water pump and our refrigerator to say the least I'm 
Okay, that whole thing is just held in with three tiny screws. Wow. Wow, that's crazy all of its own. Look at this thing. Look at the ingenuity from the 90s in France. And you can see the French writing on here still. Babord and Triborb. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't speak French. I could mount it here, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I would like it better over here. This way would be easier to get to all of those terminals. So I think I'm going to do it this way. It's about one o'clock on Sunday and you're not watching this video because I'm not done with this project yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes things take a lot longer and I have a tendency to be uh, very particular about the way things are done. Um, so here's what's hung me up right now. As you can tell, I've got my frame in here and I'm very happy with the way this looks. The finishing uh, is, is almost done. We have a little bit more to do, but it's, it's good enough that I could have it in place. And then um, the problem is this is a hinge that I, uh, I salvaged and I've had um, this actually came out of our Airstream. We had a 1979 vintage Airstream several years back and uh, we renovated it as well. Um, anyway, it's aluminum and it's really hard to find a continuous or piano hinge that's aluminum. Um, but I'm having trouble with how am I going to get this installed and uh, that the hinge won't bind. And so this is my solution. I glued up this little piece of cherry. It hasn't been finished yet, but it's going to sit in here like this. And it's raking off my finish, so I gotta quit doing this. Um, so I'll get this uh, sanded and finished as well. And then um, this hinge, like this. So then you can see that this bead here is gonna be kind of offset there and free. And when my panel is screwed on here, it will be able to swing wide open um, without any issues. All right, guys, this has taken a lot, a lot of time to sort out because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, because I've got a piece of Lexan and Lexan is expensive and we're gonna do the same sort of trick that we did over here with the uh, carbon fiber wrap um, because we like the way that that looks but um, this is a very unique shape and they did not give me a one-to-one -one template which blue sea boy that would really be nice if you could give me a one-to-one -one template so I don't have to do all these weird calculations and negatives and think second guess myself but here's what I've got so where I've made my lines this is where I need to cut um, these bars extend down a little bit farther than in here and you can see the mounting holes that we've got so I can't just measure here and then cut the outside I need to do I need to do notches um, to allow for that so these these will be tabs here and here that stick down um, there'll be some screw holes here and here in the corners and then hopefully this will set in. This up here is going to be for other equipment to go, but for now it's just gonna be blank. All of this was very, very finicky to put together. I have the elaborate cutout here um, for the blue C panel, a piano hinge in here. None of this transparent glass is going to remain transparent, but let's just do a quick test fit here to make sure that this is gonna sit in here as we, as we hope it will. And I've already got my holes drilled that is going to look fantastic. Let's get this wrapped. So here's our roll of Vivid Premium Carbon Fiber. It looks like this. It's a matte finish. This is the same stuff that we used outside at the helm. And we really like it. And it's holding up really well. So we're going to lay it like this. Yeah. I'm trying to get it reasonably centered in here. I've decided to pull this out. This is not... This is not working. <laughs> it's just not working for me. All right, guys, here is the finished project. Look at how good this looks. We still have to get all of these labels in here, but we're gonna have to custom order a lot of them because they don't make them for catamarans, apparently. 
Look at how good this looks. Look at this, it's unbelievable. Everything is very well organized. I replaced this bar here. We're gonna get labels for all of this. My blue C dual bus is up here working like a champ. And then we're gonna have all of our bilge pumps fused through here. So they're gonna be wired all the time on float switches. And this up here is a Victron display for technology that isn't installed yet, but it's coming. This project has taken me about two and a half weeks. And it's really funny because I said in the beginning of the video, I think it's gonna take me one day, not even close. But I didn't know what I was doing. Of course, I know a little bit about woodworking and I know a little bit about wiring. And what I don't know, I look it up and I, and I move forward. But I didn't have a big plan. I've never done this before, but my message is you can do it. You can do it too. Don't think that you can't. And that was part of my problem with this project. It took a few extra days because I got so buried in my own head of, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to move this project forward. This might not turn out the way that I wanted to turn out. And I just completely stalled out. And Becky just kept encouraging me. And she said, you can do it. You can do it. And it's going to turn out great because it always does. You just need to get back in there and do it. And if you mess it up, fine. We'll start over. No big deal. And I just want to relay that to you. You can do it. We're doing a boat. You might not want to do a boat, but I guarantee you there's something that you want to do. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to buy a different house. Maybe you want to, I don't know what, but you can do it. Don't be afraid to do things because you know what? If you are so lucky at the end of your life to have time to reflect upon your life, which I hope we are all so lucky to have that, you're going to remember the things that you did and you're going to regret the things that you always wanted to do. So guys, I'm going to leave you with that. If it's not too much trouble, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.